Good day guys, welcome to another edition of i Stand Ages tutorial. In this edition of our tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to model a roof fridge. The roof fridge that was used in the last edition of Learn Revit in 15 minutes. Please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like to pause this tutorial. Subscribe, like and share our tutorial on our channel with your loved ones and friends. Ok guys, a roof fridge is an array of ties arranged in a linear manner. The process is a bit tedious but I'll try as much as possible to be lucid. To create an array of time, which is a roof reach, we are going to be using three family. We have the profile to create a profile for our tie. Secondly, the generic model to form the tie. And lastly, the generic model line base to form the array of tie. So let's go to file. Go to new go to family so let's change this to english period click on family templates double click on this so i'm going to be using the generic model generic model which is this so click on it and click on open so in this generic model we have the extrusion we have the blend we have the sweat blend but we're not going to be using the extrusion law now the blend because it's not going to give us any angular advantage over our tie we won't be able to rotate it but later we are going to be using the sweat blend to form the tie well let's create a profile first so let's go to file again go to new click on family let's change it to english imperial so let's look for a profile this is our profile click on it and click on open so in this profile, we'll be creating two profiles, profile 1 and profile 2. So let's start by changing our units to metric. I prefer using the metric. So press here on your keyboard. This shows up and change this to millimeter. Click on OK. And when you're done, click on OK. So after changing your units, so let's create an arc. So go to create, click on 9 pick your center end arc and click on the middle so i'll be using 120 millimeter so press type 120 millimeter on your keyboard and press enter so you have let's form the arc this way and this way so let's offset our arc numerically so go to offset icon make sure it's in numeric change this to 10 millimeter this way this way so after upsetting it let's close our loop so go to create click on 9 click on this line so always make sure your offset value is t0 so let's go this way top to bottom this way so after closing our loop the next thing to do is to move the closed loop up so let's highlight the loop make sure that you didn't highlight this part and this other part so go to your move click on it and click on this part move it upward and you have a curve so after after moving it upward the next thing to do is to save it as a profile one so press ctrl s on your keyboard and you have this so i've already created the folder for it on my desktop so desktop roof reach this is it so type in roof profile one let's save it as profile one so type in profile one and click on save when you are through so after creating our profile one to create our profile two we need to offset this graphically so go to offset change this to graphical and untick this copy so let's let's offset it graphically pick this line pick this with this way and pick click on this line and click on this part and move it to the center so i've successfully create your profile too so let's save it as profile 2 go to your file go to save as family 
and let's save this as profile tool this way and click on save so finally created our profile one and profile two so let's load it into the generic model family so load into family which is our family one so click on click on family one and click on ok so let's load our second profile which is our profile one so go to our desktop that is why i saved my profile one so click on this and load it into project family okay so after loading the two family the two profile profile one and two so go to create but before we use the swap blend let's create a reference plane for it this way and this way so as you can see this is an imperial so let's change the unit back to metric press here on your keyboard and this shows up so change this to millimeter and click on ok and when you're done click on ok so click on escape click on this line as you can see we have 821 millimeter but the total length of my tie is going to be 400 millimeter so type in 400 millimeter on your keyboard and click on enter so after doing that go to your create click on swipes blend and go to sketch part click on this reference plane and click on the second one so after doing that click on finish to create your swipe blend so go to your select profile go to profile this is profile one and go to your select profile two click on profile two so after doing that click on finish and you have your tie so let's go to 3d to view our tie as you can see we have our tie we have a tie so always remember to create a material for your tie so click on the tie and go to your properties and go to your properties go to material let's wait for its loading and this shows up so click on this to create material and let's rename it as a tie circular bridge tie sorry bridge tie so when you are done typing click on apply and click on ok to apply your material so after creating a material for a roof ridge the next thing to do is to create an angle, angular parameter for a roof ridge which will help us to rotate the roof ridge so to do that go to profile 1 go to angle click on this part and click on this part new parameter so let's name it as angle when you are done change this from type to instance and click on ok and click on ok when you are done so go to profile 2 in profile 2 all you need to do is just select the angle click on ok and click on apply so let me show you guys how to rotate your roof ridge so go to your family type click on it so let's change the angle from 0 probably to 50 after doing that click on apply as you can see our roof fridge has been rotated so click on ok so let's change it back to zero before clicking on ok so click on apply and click on ok so before we save the next thing to do is to save our roof fridge so before saving it let's share our roof fridge so go to your family category and parameter so click let's look for share click on share and click on ok so now let's save our roof ridge but before we save it, let me confirm it's at zero angle so click on apply and click on ok so press go to your file save as go to family let's save it as tie and when you're done click on save lastly let's open our last family which is the generic model line base so go to file go to new go to family go to your family templates click on english imperial 
so let's look for a generic model line base which is this click on it and click on open so these are generic model line base family so before we do anything let's change our unit back to millimeter so press here on your keyboard and this shows up so let's change this to millimeter click on ok this square millimeter ok this to cubic millimeter and lastly this to kilogram per cubic meter click on ok and when you are done click on ok so we've changed it to metric so the next thing to do is to load our tie into this family so let's go to switch view look for tie tie 3d view so click on it and you have this if this didn't show up in your own so click on this small house it will show up so let's load it into our family tree which is a generic model line base so go to load into projects click on family tree and click on ok and you have this so let's place our tie on the line place it on the line after placing it on the line click on escape twice so go to align go to align so you go to align click on align click on your reference plane and click on the tie to align after aligning it make sure you lock it so after locking it the next thing to do is to array a tie so click on the tie go to array always make sure take note of this go to your move to change it from second to last so after changing it from second to last let's move this to this so after moving it click on escape and you have this so go to your align icon click on it again click on this reference line and click on the tie lock it always remember to lock it the reason is that whenever you lock it it will make the tie to move along with the reference line so let's let me show you guys what i mean so click on this move it let's move this click on the reference line go to your move icon so let's move it as you can see the tie followed the reference plane so let me move it back so always remember to align this don't forget to align this part too so click on this and click on this click on this sorry this and this lock it this way this and this and lock it so after locking the tie to the reference plane the next step is to create two parameters the first one is for the number of tie so let's create it let's create it so click on escape twice click on the line so after clicking on the line sorry click on the tie so click on the line so go to your label add parameter so uh let's name it as a so change this from type to instance so after changing it from type to instance click on ok so this a is for the number of tie number of tie so the next parameter the next parameter is going to be the length of the overlapping tie so let's go to our family type click on it let's new parameter let's name it as b change this to instant and click on ok so we'll be doing a little calculation here so remember that length is this length here is the length from the first tie to the last tie while b will be the length of the overlapping tie so to get the length over of the overlapping time remember that the length of this tie is 400 millimeter so we have to reduce it for a tie to overlap we have to reduce it so let's reduce it by 50 millimeter so making 350 so a is the number of tie from the first reference plane to the last one so let's do the calculation so type in length divided by b when you are to click on apply and click on ok as you can see we have formed a an area of tie which is our roof reach 
which is a roof width so let's check if our process is correct so click on this reference plane go to move click on it and move it so our process is correct as far as our reference plane as far as we move our reference plane our tile will keep increasing so let's go to 3d view to view our roof ridge so guys we have our roof ridge okay guys we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like and share our videos and our channel with your friends and loved ones thanks for watching see you next time